Hey, what's going on? I get asked this question a lot and the title of this video is exactly the question, which is how I would escape my nine to five job if I had one. And here's, here's how I would do it. I know this is a question so many coaches ask me because they have jobs that they don't like or maybe they're, they're coaching teams and they'd rather just do private training or they'd rather just have their own business. And that's really where I came from. When, when I started training players, I had a lot of experience coaching teams. I didn't like coaching teams. Uh, I always liked giving players more individual help. This is something that's becoming more popular. Coaches are starting to leave the teams that they coach at to start their own thing. And that's really my whole mission here. It's to help coaches who want to do that. So now here's how I would do it. This is a very step-by-step -step strategic plan. So let's say I was working Monday through Friday. I was working Monday through Friday from, let's say it's nine to five, okay? If I'm working from nine to five, the first thing that I would do is I would always wake up probably at six o'clock in the morning. Um, I would wake up at six o'clock and spend 45 minutes every single day learning about the business and fortunately for you i mean i have over a hundred something videos here i have over 150 podcasts if you follow me on instagram i talk at this is all i talk about i talk about how to improve your business so you can use me as a free resource um, by simply just investing time okay so you have the time if you choose to wake up early and that's something that you can just be disciplined on is waking up early and I would also go to bed earlier so you have the energy in the morning to actually learn and invest time and put 45 minutes per day into learning okay that right there is standard 45 minutes a day and then on the weekend I would use Saturday and Sunday as your day of promoting of your day of if you're training any players it should just be funnel every single kid into saturdays or sundays only so this way it's not getting in the middle of you know what's going on during the week and i've seen a lot of coaches who who've taken just those strategies right there 45 minutes a day of learning 45 minutes a day of implementing and then once they start getting clients they only funnel them to one day out of the week which makes their schedule a lot easier because now they know that there's only one day that they're training players. They're not going out to train seven kids on seven different days, they're training seven kids on one day, okay? That right there can help you get the ball moving. And then from there, it's like, okay, I have 45 minutes a day that I'm investing, I'm learning, okay? I'm going to be promoting myself all the time, like maybe after work, after five o'clock, you make a Facebook video. You learn how to write an email newsletter. You, you on Facebook, you're constantly talking about your program and you're, you're giving away free sessions. You're doing whatever you can during the week with the time that you have to promote what you're doing. And this is where I know a lot of coaches get it wrong. They think that they can just go promote like a flyer or something like that. That is not gonna work. And, and I, I hate to tell you, that, that blunt, <laughs> but that just doesn't work. You have to market yourself in a way where you get in front of a lot of people, you connect with the right people in your city. I mean, I've already created so many resources and videos about this already, but promoting yourself is something that I would say nine out of 10 coaches don't do. And one out of 10 coaches, I would say, you know, they will promote themselves. Um, <laughs> I'd say 50% of those, of uh, the 1%, uh, don't do it the right way either. So if you learn how to promote yourself the correct way, you're going to have a leg up over anyone else in your city. That right there is super important. And like I said earlier, if you funnel everyone into one day, you're not going to feel like you're working that much. And from there, it's all about, well, what's the financial goal? How many players do you need to train in order to quit your job? And that's a question I ask every coach over the phone. The typical answer is around like three to $4,000. It really depends on your lifestyle and what your budget is and what your bills are. But let's just say it's three grand, okay? If it's three grand, that means 
on average, you could have 10 clients who are paying $300 a month, okay? Or you could have 30 clients who are paying $100 a month. And you could have all those kids come and train with you on Saturdays. Um, that, that could be set up, especially if you do it in a group. You can just do three groups of 10 each. Uh, right there, you're at your goal. And that's by working one day a week. And then imagine what happens when you quit your job and you have Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday off. And you can devote the rest of your time to your business. So that is just a simple way of thinking about it. If you need help with that, if you need help with learning how to promote what you do, um, you want some more resources on figuring out how to get started the right way with your business legally and what to do at the very beginning, reach out to me here. That's why I created this channel, guys. I'm here to help you out. That's, that's my only purpose here is to help you out. So if you need help with that, reach out to me. Shoot me a comment below this video. I'd love uh, to help you out. See you later.